Okay, so now that we've finished up talking about uh, how light works, now let's look at how pigments work uh, for um, photosynthesis. So, when light strikes an object, one of three things can occur. Uh, and that's what we see here on this next slide, is that light can be transmitted, and transmitted means it passes through, or it can be reflected, meaning it's given off, or it is absorbed uh, by that object. So pigments are gonna do one of three things. Transmit the light, they're gonna reflect the light, or they're going to absorb the light, all right? So uh, what we see is light that is given off, light that is reflected. So all the colors of the visible spectrum are going to be absorbed by the photosynthetic pigments and the light that is reflected off is what we see. So plants look green to us because they reflect that green light. They absorb all these other colors of the spectrum though. And just to let you know, black color absorbs all these colors of the visible spectrum and that's why we don't see any light or any color given off. Uh, because it's absorbing all those colors. White light, uh, if some pigment uh, is white, uh, then all of those colors are being reflected off. All right, And so that's why in summer months we have a tendency to wear uh, lighter clothing because it reflects more light. And in winter months we uh, have a tendency to wear darker color because it absorbs more light. And so by absorbing more light, that uh, makes things warmer, and if uh, things are lighter, they reflect more light uh, off of them, and so that is cooler to us. All right, now when we look at the photosynthetic pigments, chlorophyll A is a main photosynthetic pigment. So chlorophyll A, you can see, this is looking at wavelength of light absorbed, and the higher the curve is, the more light uh, of that color it absorbs. Chlorophyll A has a peak over here, and then you can see it has a peak over here, but it's really low in the green area. And so chlorophyll A, being the main photosynthetic pigment, looks green to us because it reflects mainly green light. These other ones that you see on here, chlorophyll B, carotenoids, and there's another one called xanthophylls, uh, these are going to absorb other colors of the spectrum, all right, uh, and so these are called accessory pigments. And so they just uh, broaden the range of which light can be absorbed. So chlorophyll A also is a greenish pigment. Carotenoids, carrot right in here. What color are carrots? Carrots are orange. This is an orangish pigment to us. And then lastly, xanthophylls, not shown on here, are yellowish pigments because that, they absorb the least amount in the yellow range. Okay.